Recorded live from the G.O.T. Sound Studio in Columbia, South Carolina. This is the All About Nothing podcast. The views expressed on this program are the opinions of the hosts. Listeners are encouraged to follow the show on Twitter at A.A.N. underscore pod or at theallaboutnothing.com. You can email the show at theallaboutnothing.com. You may also call and leave the show a message at 803-672-0533. Thank you for listening. All right. Welcome to another episode of the All About Nothing podcast. We got Zach King, Trent Clark, Barry Gruber, and we have a guest this week. Talia from the Let's Just Sleep On It podcast. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah, welcome, absolutely. Welcome, welcome. It's been another, uh, I, I, has it been an eventful week? I don't even know how to describe this week. It felt like it came and went, and now we're here. Uh, they are past the COVID uh, bill. Absolutely. In I saw Congress that. and in the Senate. And now it gets to go through more bureaucracy by going back to mm, Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. They did it again. You're right. You're right. So I slacked. Oh, sunglasses? Yeah, that's right. It's okay. I wait, because Trent's always taking my shit. So yeah, I did. I just wait. He did wait. <laughs> Damn, it. <laughs> Damn it! If you're not watching at home, Zach is wearing sunglasses. Trent forgot his. <laughs> but I remembered a hat this week. Zach mm. forgot a hat. Mm. Oh, you're just I just not. got out the shower, and I had the windows down, flying down the interstate, passing Camaros Hold and on. Hondas. He wanted to feel what like time? a bad bee. What time did he say he was going to get here? Oh, that means he was passing Hondas but not getting where he was supposed to be, so he was about 35 minutes late. I said around three. Oh, okay, okay. It's all right. Oh. <laughs> you and I did fine. I mean, I feel like we are the we do the manual labor in the podcast, so we, yeah. there's no reason for us not to do yeah, it. I do the talent. I said I said when I walked through the door, the talent is here. Oh yeah, this guy looks like Zach Galifianakis <laughs> right now. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> so that's hilarious. But we did. Uh, Trent and I hung uh, the new poster frames. Yes. We put up two. You only see one if you're watching on YouTube. That's but right. uh, that is the it is the big head poster. <laughs> the new hit. We can't call it fat heads legally, but we no, all no. do have fat heads up on there. Yeah. Big heads. Yeah. Big heads. We'll be the big heads. We also have a line of merchandise now with our, with with not only this image on it, but also we could, individual big heads. We on could it. we could be individual a barbershop big. quartet just down a man, and we could be the Richard Craniums. Yeah. So, so honestly, how bad will all y'all feel if y'all girls got my face as their tank top? <laughs> In my face on. Honestly, she's really woke. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely honest. I actually considered if we do the if we do the the putt putt. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna wear one of y'all's heads. I'm thinking about it. That's cool. That's cool. Damn, That's we're gonna cool. put a lot of money in gagged. <laughs> That's invested. Yeah, to burn Trent, I had to buy like five of the tank tops. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I've I've seen there's there's been a few of the shirts ordered, which already, is crazy. So. Yeah, well, and seen, Barrett. Oh, go ahead. No, I just I, I've seen one of the fans wearing one, so that's cool. oh, have you? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, our, our shout out to her. Me has a shirt with all of us on. Yes. It, so. Wow. Yep, yep. She does. So, uh, you know, they're they're available if you go to our website, theallaboutnothing.com. Also, just special thanks, uh, Nick the Geek, engineer and producer, as well as owner and operator of GOT Sound Studio. So I want to make sure I shout that out. Uh, if you want to schedule time, 803-243-2302, or you can email gotsounds at gmail.com. Why did I say that weird? Gmail. 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 Geo- I'm going to say... It's Ask Jeeves. But you know what? Really good it's actually it's because I, I screwed up the email address. It's mm. gotsounds at theallaboutnothing.com. I gave him an email address so that uh, he didn't have he didn't have non-allaboutnothing uh, email junk coming yeah, in through yeah. that email. I understand. So. Just uh, made more sense. But last week, uh, you said to Murph that we had uh, a little less than 20 uh, subscribers. I checked the numbers. We're at 36, sir. Whoa, that, shout went out up, to 36. that went up 10, man. That yeah. went yeah. up 10. That's awesome. Week. I did say numbers. 26. You did say 26. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's crazy, right? Keep doing it, man. Yeah, we need to... Uh, Hit that little sure like, that subscribe button and we're the s- little ding, ding. Hey, we're so <laughs> close to our goal of a million per- subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, man. We're on our way. You can help. <laughs> <laughs> You too. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did just as, before we get started. Okay. I've recorded like two videos of me playing guitar and singing and put them on my like, my own YouTube. Mm-hmm. And you know how YouTube is just full of assholes who are yeah, going to comment. I mean, that's what YouTube is for. Yeah, I don't hate anybody for doing it. 
But someone said the nicest thing to me. Mm. What did they say? They were like, this is an excellent cover. Your voice range is perfect. I, I was told looking you for a cover it. of this. I told you he'd yeah, see yeah. it. Your yeah. name's James Bond? Yep. That was it. <laughs> the comment was literally James we Bond. We was like, I was like, yo. I was like, Barrett, <laughs> make a, make a, fa- a finsta. <laughs> like, we're going we're to spam this account up. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, this person was nice to me. <laughs> It's only your friends, man. <laughs> Most of the time, it's like, go shoot yourself. I'm like, okay. Wow. Are they really that hard? No, I've never had anyone comment on my videos. <laughs> I was going to say, that's awful. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen like the stars re-bet their comments? Like, oh, yeah, oh, mean oh, tweets oh, on Jimmy Kimmel. So I love funny. that. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Someone told Tom Brady he has a butthole on his chin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's it's like, I do. <laughs> His butt like, like, worth millions. Yeah. <laughs> that's, exactly. You can't see it with the chin strap. <laughs> Also true. Also Very true. Facts. So uh, this week, uh, I we we talked about it a little bit last week with the cancel culture being at such a such a high extreme recently. It is. Um, you know, CPAC last week, you had all of the speakers basically weighing in on their opinion of things that being canceled, including Mr. Potato Head, mm-hmm. and uh, also wait, what? Mr. Potato Head got canceled. So here's yeah, yeah. here's what? essentially what happened. <laughs> I, what I my, okay. First of all, I'm going to give you my conjecture. What I believe actually happened, which was that Hasbro made a decision that we're going to cut down on the 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 artwork and the necessities as far as like the packaging of a toy, and said we're just going to package Mr. Potato Head yeah. and Mrs. Potato Head in the same box of Potato Head. Mm. Oh, okay. Literally but, just said we're so not going to make So you have two potatoes now or just the one well, with, we, like, all the accessories? So that, that to me, would be the mo- yes. that would make the most sense. Now, we still have two potatoes. We still have okay. We still have parts. Uh, and, and ultimately, it doesn't matter. I think I said last week. You're still pulling parts out of their ass. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> They don't want to change that. How dare they include other people and, you know, gender identities? How dare they? Well, so I, I, I did I did do a little digging. Um, apparently, and this is the history uh, about Mr. Potato Head. He originated in 1949 by George Lerner. Okay, the toy was distributed by Hasbro in 1952. Mrs. Potato Head didn't come along until 1953, as well as Brother Spud and Sister Yam. So the sister clearly is adopted. Um, <laughs> and it started she out... She must got them cakes. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Yam. Mr. Yam. It started out as it was just pieces with push pins on the back of them that For you would sure. actually shove, shove them it. into real potatoes and other vegetables. I knew that's how that had to Oh, start. nice. It. Yeah. It came with a real potato. No, you probably just had to have a potato. That sounds kind of no, fun. No, I'm thinking it came yeah. with it. No, no, it was, you literally had to already have the potato. You oh, just that's, got the That's kind of lit. And when it you're was, done it's with not it, lit. When you're done with it? <laughs> Where's my Mr. Potato Head? We're eating his ass tonight. Yeah. So here's where <laughs> we're wrong. Here's where we're wrong. <laughs> Apparently because of food rationing after World War II and complaints about rotting vegetables and new government safety regulations because the parts were too sharp and they were literally mm. impaling children with them, oh uh, Hasbro began including a plastic potato head. Uh, within the set back in 1969, and it took that long. You wow. it took like ten yeah, years that's to like get ten to years. that point. And all the Irish were like, "What are you doing with that potato?" Exactly. <laughs> all those like starving <laughs> Irish people. That's good food for five. <laughs> the Irish were pissed. <laughs> Murphy, <laughs> eat a potato, Nora. Uh, so you know, I, I, I honestly don't care much about cancel culture or whatever it another I, thing i just was watching the news they took they finally did it they i don't finally, know why it took so long hold on i don't have the conspiracy <laughs> finally, it's not even conspiracy this is all facts baby <laughs> we shouldn't have been learning about it all, all along but gone with the wind is finally being taken out of learning in school I didn't have to watch Gone with the Wind. In I don't ever actually think that i watched Gone with the Wind as a learning tool. Oh, we, we watched Glory. Yeah, we watched I mean, Glory as yeah, well. Yeah, but I, I had to watch Gone Glory with the Wind. Glory's rad. I, I watched Gone with the Wind multiple times. So let, okay, They're so, talking about it's the, the, the depiction of the slavery, like, along with the cat in the hat was supposed to be... Like Dr. Seuss got canceled yeah, this week, too. Yeah, all his cartoons. Well, he did. It, yeah. yeah, and I want to talk about that, too. It Okay, it wasn't canceled... I think it was a cancel culture that backfired because now the cat in the hat is the number one selling book. But what they were originally trying to do was say that some of the books were um, 
pictations of Africans and they made them look like slaves. And, and well, well, not just that. He had cartoons that had been released, like mm-hmm. you know, his artistry, yeah. like that were like definitely blatantly racist, racist for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, so one of the books that was canceled, I saw it on Mulberry Street, had a Chinese man, and it was so racist. <laughs> it was, and then I can't remember the name of the, one of the other ones I saw, but it was definitely like they were in some jungle and there was black people. That were pretty much indistinguishable from from monkeys, and, and you're just like, oh wow, yeah. yeah. See, I okay, and ultimately, I didn't even know what these books were. So there were six of them, um, the one you're talking about, and I and and to think I saw that on Mulberry Street. It, the story follows a boy named Marco who describes a parade of imaginary people and vehicles traveling down along the road of Mulberry Street in an elaborate fantasy story he dreams up to tell his father at the end of the workday, mm. uh, or at the end of his walk. However, when he arrives home, he decides instead to tell his father what he actually saw was just a simple horse and, 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 and wagon. Mm. So I, I had no idea that this was a book. Because you I, don't read them. The ones they canceled, nobody reads. It wasn't that, Cat in the So ultimately, ultimately, I did some digging. So Dr. Seuss Corporation or Enterprise had had no outside influence to do this. No. There was there was nothing mm-hmm. going on. They made the decision themselves yes. to pull books that didn't necessarily look very sensitive. I honestly think that it wasn't even along those lines. I mean, not to say that they weren't being sensitive, but I think also it was the fact that most of these books in publication wind up being donated after the fact because they don't sell them in stores. Mm-hmm. They wind up being donated to libraries, and libraries after a while are just like, please stop giving us these books. 100%. Nobody's checking them out. We have nowhere to store them anymore. So it's a lose lose on every account, except for now, it's Dr. Enterprise, Dr. Seuss Enterprises is no longer manufacturing these books to sell. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's, it's, and it, that's what like, people saying they're canceled Dr. Seuss. No, they didn't. The they made them rich again. The, pu- the publishing <laughs> yeah. company was like, oh, we're not going to make these anymore. Fine. Plus, these books that they canceled were complete deep dives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, when you're a kid, if you pulled out, I can believe I saw it on Mulberry Street, you're like, that's not fucking. Nineteen thirty-seven. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that was ultimately written in nineteen thirty-seven. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I, I just I can't. You believe. you have to know what time it was in nineteen thirty-seven. No, no kidding. Yeah. Like, oh, and that's the other thing. So I I'm not I am not in favor of this idea of cancer cult cancel culture. I hate cancer, uh, cancel culture. But the, the I guess my issue with it is. How do you look back at, and I get that there are some things that were blatantly offensive, like they were written to be offensive, but something like Dr. Seuss, was it intentionally written to be uh, uh, offensive or was it was it written as an exaggeration on life? Mm-hmm. Because ultimately artwork is almost always an exaggeration on, on, on something, like either, either, you know, in your head or it's artwork that's done. I mean, look at the size of my head. <laughs> Who here in this room thinks my head's that big? I mean, you bastard. <laughs> Pretty close. I, I, I have the biggest head in this room, I guarantee. I do. No, we've done it. Yeah, we have. Yeah, 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 I do. You can't wear I, I, I have a hat that fits on his head that doesn't fit on mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> couldn't wear this hat. No, when I would I would give my hat to people at, uh, at high school, and they'd try it on, and they'd be like, what the hell? And it's like slightly. <laughs> <laughs> it goes all the way around, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> it barely fits on my I head. Saw, I saw him one time trying to shove one of my hats on. <laughs> like, it's <laughs> like, no, 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 you're going to stretch that out. Especially with the hair, man. It's oh, it's yeah. done, it's Man, done. that hair. How long? How long are we planning on growing that? Uh, I don't know. I'm really scared uh, for my daughter to like see me with my haircut. Mistake and be like, you for? Oh mom. my god! Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> you better do it now. And she uses it as an anchor. Like I'll pick her up and then I'll go to set her down. She's like, "You coming down here with me?" And just, like, oh yeah. Yank it. And I'm you like, know what? Oh. I, I will be honest. I never had either one of my kid children, uh, any of the kids, ever ever cry about like when I shaved my face. They'd just be surprised. Like if I took all the hair off. Mm-hmm. And shaved my head. It was just well. It, I can tell you why I'm afraid of it. Uh, when I was seven, my dad had always had a mustache all my life. Yeah. Uh, my uncle took me to run to the gas station. It was an elaborate plan by them. Um, <laughs> and my, I came back home. My dad had shaved his mustache, and he tried to like be like, "Hey, Blue, come here." And I was like, "No, I don't know who you are." Stranger I literally danger. cried. I was like, well, "Who is this person?" Because I had never seen my dad without a mustache. That's crazy. I don't want. I don't want my daughter to be like. I don't know this man with the nicely trimmed hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your excuse to Gabriella why you can't cut your hair? She loves my long hair. I mean, I believe it. But will she love it if it gets longer than hers? 
Dude, Gabrielle's hair is so long. I mean, but it, no, it could happen. Literally down to like. As a girl with a bald dad, I would have loved if my dad had long hair that mm. I could like braid yes. and put into yeah. ponytails. I like do it all the time. <laughs> we couldn't do shit with my dad's hair. Yeah, my son about to braid me up soon. Dude, Gabrielle, Gabrielle is a, a cosmetologist, so she'll sit down and like be like, "Let me braid your hair," and do like these dope ass Viking braids yeah. and shit down the side, and I'm just like. Damn, I meant to come. I should have made her do it today. <laughs> Braid my hair real quick and walk up in the studio. I had a guy at kickball this week who didn't believe that I had shaved my head all the way down like with a razor. Because oh, yeah. what was it? It was, it was it was only two weeks ago, right? Maybe. It was two or three weeks ago? You were wearing, you were ago, wearing a hat. No, I wasn't wearing a hat, but that's how long it is now. Like mm. My hair grows back so fast. I'm sorry, Trent. I know that's hurtful. Like I said, my son about to braid me up soon. So <laughs> I ain't worried about Wait, that. How? Don't worry about that, man. <laughs> what, what day are we at with the beard, Trent? Uh, it's been a while, but I shaved it. <laughs> oh, did you? Um, okay. Why? I cut mine down. I did. I um, thought we were. I thought we were working on bringing it all the way. No, man. I just. You got to get that uh, Rick Ross. <laughs> it just doesn't fill in. He Rick Ross does. It like. doesn't fill in for some reason. Give it a chance. No. Yeah, you got to get. Dominique told you. Oh man. How to for take care him. of it? If I gotta listen to Dominique one more time. For him. <laughs> 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 it's a real doctor. Yeah. <laughs> you hear us for him? God damn it! We want a fucking we want a sponsorship. I'm about to get balls. I mean b- Bosley in my beard. <laughs> You're gonna get plugs. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to take it up on y'all. Take it up a notch. That'll work. Uh, I have a Fu Manchu. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the other five books is uh, 1950 was written. Uh, if I ran the zoo, which is about a young uh, a, a young boy visiting the zoo, he, he he discovers the exotic animals are not good enough. So he he says that if he ran the zoo, he would have all sorts of current animals. He would let all the animals free, and then find new ones, more bizarre and exotic ones. Mm-hmm. It wasn't one of the things caught in that book was a person. Was it? Mm-hmm. See, I don't. I've not read these books. I didn't know that yeah. they existed. I shamefully have read that one and Mulberry Street, but I- to. Your, Again, you just hold freaking on. Hold on. Well, before we go any, hold on. Before we go any further, <laughs> did you just read them to yourselves, or did you read them to yourself? No. Files? When I was growing okay. up, my uh, grandmother had a uh, like a book uh, subscription where okay. they would send a, like a box of books. Gotcha. I got Harry Potter before Harry Potter was cool. She was like, "This is for kids here." It's <laughs> <was> like cool. <laughs> A thousand page book was for kids. Dude, oh, the first eyes. Harry Potter here's, was not a thousand page book. Here's, oh, here's the thing: okay. that it it was only twenty years ago when those Harry Potter books start mm-hmm. from, first started coming out that yeah. the the Republicans and the conservatives were like, these books are oh, evil because it's witchcraft. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, so they were trying were to were like, cancel. Ah. They were trying to cancel those. Then it's yeah. like it's yeah. it's 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 trade off. Eminem. We were spe- like when I was in high school, not in high school. Eminem didn't come around when I was in high school. Uh, Eminem <laughs> would have been canceled if he would have uh, dropped out. So if he would have dropped half of the coming out. But that's the thing is. That, that there were people literally buying Eminem CDs and burning them, which Eminem was like, you bought buy them. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing happened you to R. Kelly. They're like, you R. Kelly, you're, 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 you are so he reports an additional. Uh, he he acts on uh, creating additional letters beyond Z, with uh, fantastic creatures to correspond with the new letters. Uh, Scrambled egg super. Uh, it's a story uh, is told from the point of view of a boy named Peter T. Hopper, uh, who makes scrambled eggs prepared from eggs belonging to various exotic birds. Mm. Uh, the cat's quizzer, which is the cat in the hat, introduces the reader to Ziggy and Zizzy Zazzle Fazzle, uh, <laughs> setting that uh, that they both get. A hundred percent. That that they both got a hundred spent hundred percent on their quiz, uh, but ultimately they got all the questions wrong. And then they ask the reader the reoccurring questions: and Are you uh, smarter than Zazzle Fazzle? I've heard of that. So, uh, and then I don't know what would be racist in there. Well, see, that's the thing is you I think have was, to read the book probably. It was the illustrations, and yeah, I the, think it's I think ultimately it's the illustrations. It's always yeah. it. the pictures, man. That's what. Come on, think think about it before you start reading. Like the pictures would. Draw you in the books. How many how many children did you grow up that were uh, a darker skin than you? Named Fizzle Fazzle or Zazzle Fazzle. First first friend I ever had was mm. black. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying, I I don't I don't I grew up just, not seeing color. You just said it so crazy. Like, <laughs> first friend I ever had was black. Hey, did, <laughs> I, did I tell you about my black friend? 
I mean, my first. That is easily one of the worst things to say I, I have say... learned because I with 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 Red at Redette at work, which uh, shout out to Red. Um, she she ultimately always says the same thing, like because there were people around us that worked with us that they would say things like, "Well, I have a black friend in Charlotte," and it was like, <laughs> uh, "Why would you? Why would you tell us that? Why not just say, <laughs> hey, why you know just." Maybe give us give us the opportunity to make an assumption. See, <laughs> don't see my don't grandma's the same out. way. Like, I mean, I think it's just a, a culture how they were brought up. Yeah. Sure. Because if you ask my grandma to explain her ride to the store the other day, she's like, "I'm with my white, white friend, friend. <laughs> Betsy." You know what I'm saying? So she's yeah. gonna let you know, yeah. who she's with before. So I'm guessing that's just how they used to do it back in the day. I don't know. No, you can't. I've always, I guess, I've always had too many black friends to be like, I have a black friend. <laughs> and I grew up in I grew up in Little Mountain, so you know I had to have a white friend first because yeah. everybody other than that was my cousin. <laughs> I just tell everybody I have a friend named Trent, and then they like maybe meet you. And he's like, you have a black friend? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> one of many. One of many. Why is that such a surprise? I just don't. My friend me. Trenton. <laughs> well, I mean, I grew up in Atlanta, and and I went I went to schools inside the perimeter, but it was a you know I went to high school to a school that was. Probably predominantly white around it, but they had the M to M program, which uh, which would bring you know uh, inner city kids, yeah, inner city kids are like mm-hmm. from Decatur and, and places like that out to our school, and it because it, it essentially was an underpopulated school, so mm-hmm. you know, bus people in. That's that's the whole point. Oh, you know? okay, okay. I, I Edu- uh, you, you, oh, wait, Trent and I went to Chapin. We were the only black people there. Oh my god. <laughs> See, not, I'm so glad it's not my history month no more. <laughs> Ted, thanks a lot, Ted Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> Women's History Month this month. Yeah, you're right. And we started off with a woman. That's right. I did not that. know this was Women's History Month. Facebook has failed to inform me. <laughs> well, it's because they get every other month. You know, Valentine's Day, Pizza uh, month. I don't Mother's know. Day. Uh, what else we got? It's like Christmas the, is there. The news comes up with days for shit, but they're not going to tell me what month it is. Yeah. <laughs> right. Today's Cherry Pie Day. Go get a Cherry Pie. I'm like, no. <laughs> Today's Chopstick Day. Just eat with chopsticks. Try it out. Yeah. Something crazy. Something crazy. It's always something. Yeah. Do you think Desmond's going to be a little fearful that you might get stolen from their podcast? <laughs> no. I mean, if he don't wake up, <laughs> yeah. if he don't wake up soon from the they Let's Just Sleep on that. haven't had an episode in ages. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called Let's Just Sleep on it, but maybe he's just sleeping he on it. He is sleeping. Mm-hmm. Wait, yeah, yeah he, can't, he can't become his show. He's I, just sleeping mm-hmm. on it. I keep listening. I keep Okay, this is not bash on Desmond, but I, <laughs> I enjoy the show enough that I keep waiting for one to drop, and I, I, I wind up getting disappointed when I don't see it. Like right, because that ultimately that's what I do. Like as soon as I pull out my phone on Monday morning, I see our show is there, yes. and then I'll see Desmond's show. Yeah. Is, y'all show is there. I keep saying Desmond. I apologize. Props <laughs> to Barrett and Neek for getting that show out like so fast. Oh yeah, that was quick. It's it's, mm-hmm. so, it's it's both of them, and you have to edit the audio to the video for the yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I pulled channel. the. I, yeah. So go subscribe because there's a lot of yeah, work that goes into this. Hours. hours. Yeah, the the last book, uh, Miss uh, Michaela Gott's Pool, is a boy named Marco imagines a variety of fantastic fish that could be swimming in the pond that he's fishing in. So, ultimately, again, mm. these are books. I don't think that they necessarily. I think I think it was a it was it was killing two birds with a stone. Okay. You you you're ultimately saving money by not publishing books that nobody's buying, and then it's also you know we can say oh well we recognize these as being offensive racially yeah, and we're, woke we're over taking here them at Seuss's Industries <laughs> yeah, 1939 <laughs> we read a rock and decided to <laughs> way before Disney <laughs> yeah. way before Disney's Disney. like do we have to pull Song of the South down oh man yes they're, they're thinking about they're thinking of the Jungle Book needs to come down for real seriously yeah, man yeah. I seen in the news man well, they're trying to go crazy I saw well okay so and I I haven't fact checked this so I apologize but I I I did I did hear that. They pulled Dumbo or they pulled Peter Pan because of the depiction of Native Americans in it mm-hmm. um, off of Disney Plus. In Peter Pan. Yeah. The Native Americans they have in, in Neverland. And I hear they're coming for Pocahontas. No. Are they really? I think so. I tell you what, that was one of the movies that I sang along to the most. 100%. Everybody knows. Have you ever heard the wolf cry in the blue? Aladdin. Blue. Aladdin was Yeah, I sing along with Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin was great. And I honestly I like... I, you don't like the new one? No. Well, <laughs> so I can't. Is it because of Will Smith? I thought the genie was awful. I don't know how you come up against Robin Williams. Though. Well, I mean, but you had Robin to know Williams that isn't quite available. I also didn't need <laughs> that. I didn't ask. Well, who's for at, it? Who asked for Mulan? 
I definitely didn't ask for Mulan. Mulan there was, was no great s- by itself. I was the one who broke it to y'all. They didn't even sing in that fucking movie. I yeah, know. I, I still haven't watched it because you told me that. <laughs> no, there's no singing. And there's no dragon. Yeah, no, right. there's no dragon. There's It's awful. I just well the new one that came out this past Friday is fantastic. Uh, Ray, R- Raya and the and the Last Dragon, fantastic. Well, they will not cancel the Little Mermaid. Why? Why would they need to cancel the Little Mermaid? Well, Little Mermaid's black now. So and they're no. I'm saying they, oh in they, the oh in the new one. Yeah, 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 the yeah, new, no, the live action. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. I'm thinking about damn. What's the what's the crab races? Well, like, so, <laughs> yeah, I Sebastian. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what did I miss? And ultimately, <laughs> that was one of the things that I heard was that the Little Mermaid might be on the list, not necessarily for its its depiction of some race, but it's all, it's because of its depiction of the fact that throughout most of the movie, the main character in the movie can't speak, and that some people prefer women not speaking. So mm. that was how that was where they were like they they're creating lines yeah. in order to. So, I mean, the, oh, I just oh, I just understood. So. I get what you're saying because it's like it's stupid for for a woman to come out of the water and be a regular woman. She has to now be quiet and it's now silent. Right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That you was, get what I'm saying? Yeah. See, I remember in the original fairy tale, like I used to have um this like old. I think it was like the I don't know if it was like the like a Brothers Grimm type thing, but it was like um just a storybook full of like the older versions of the story tales. And I remember in the version of The Little Mermaid, instead of her losing her voice, it would feel like she was walking on knives or like getting her feet oh, okay. cut okay. if um, she chose to get legs instead. Gotcha. So, Well, I like Splash better than The Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh, the one with the... Uh... Tom Hanks. Oh, I thought you were talking and about the Disney Hannah, Channel. Daryl Hannah. Hannah Daryl Hannah, yeah. yeah. I was going for the Disney Channel. One. There's no mermaids on Seattle! <laughs> So, but ultimately, they, they, so what I immediately actually, when all of this started going on, I heard that, that they had canceled or they, they had forced Disney to remove the Muppets from Disney Plus, which they had just gotten tossed on there. Like they just got added to the library. Well, they got a, a, a whole scene of Johnny Cash playing the guitar with the Confederate flag right behind him. Really? In the Muppets. Oh, yeah, God, yes. Well, oh, that shit's been around too. So, though. yes. Mm-hmm. But, and it was like when Johnny was young, young. In truth, While they he's didn't. Doing this shit. They didn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In <laughs> truth, in the they bar. didn't. They didn't even here. cancel yeah. the Muppets. They just added a disclaimer that basically to say, hey, parents, there's potential offensive material that some people, or some people might interpret as being offensive. Oh, it was the Muppets. Mu- Jim Henson was as far from racist, I think, as anyone could possibly imagine. I mean, if, if he was truly racist, why would he even make characters that were of of, of tonal color or whatever that was well, let's just I a... could never tell what the black who the black Muppet was yeah. like, on there. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how we can always tell like the black one. There's so yeah. many Muppets yes. that I cannot be Skeeter's like, the black guy the black, Doug. Yeah, I, I can't Pickle pick out which guy. one is <laughs> the black long. guy in the Muppets. But he was blue. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we talked about that last time. I was like, the blue guy's the black guy? Basically. Oh well. Let's just let's give let's give Sesame Street credit where credit's due. They've been woke since the seventies. Yeah. Mm. And that's a yeah. Jim Henson product. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sesame I, I, Street. I haven't watched it in ages. I did and it pissed me off because I realized that you need to be cancelled if you're Ted Cruz. For some reason he's still invited. <laughs> yeah, I don't get um, that. He should be in jail. There, there, there are people who need to be canceled if they're just openly bigots, like uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example. Um, but I was watching The Princess and the Frog with my daughter. We sure. just had it on. It, it, this is cancel culture making me do this. The black uh, woman who's the protagonist, the prince is white. And I was like, why is the prince white? Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I feel you. I mean, but I but at the same time, I'm like, it doesn't like, did matter. you feel like the prince should be black because she's black? black? Maybe I don't know. Like, was there? See, what was, what people was... might take that statement and be like, "Well, that's racist." I'm perfectly fine with the being an interracial. I, no, couple. I'm I'm completely fine. What's with wrong? With that? But the instant <laughs> thought in my head was like, "Well, why isn't he black too?" Like, understand? Right, right. Understand? Which like, is... either make them black or make yeah, them white. Don't mix them. Don't mix them. You're really, you're really digging yourself a hole, buddy. If I, if I was that way, Trent, we would not be I rude. know, I know, but you got to watch it. You got to watch it. But, but I'm saying, for what I, I I understand what you're saying. Yeah, Because yeah, that's yeah. how we've been programmed to believe. I don't mean believe. it in a, in, a, in a bad way at all. Understand. <laughs> but most of the time, if the lead character in a movie is a certain race, the person who she dates, unless you're Chinese and you go for a white guy, which is, that's in a lot of movies. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. More than likely, they're going to be the same race. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. usually no, how it is. I agree. 
I, I that is that is almost always what unless it's seeing. Pocahontas. Like that was one. Yeah, that was one where everybody was like. How dare you <laughs> mix races? <laughs> but at the over same here. time, I'm like John Smith really came here, but it wasn't it wasn't culpable. And, and it the pilgrims like, were hey, raping hey, people. Hey, I mean, hey, they hey, were raping hey, people. Hey, like oh, she's fine. Hey, yeah, yeah, like they were fine back then. Like yeah. you to rape them, but you can't date them. No, like that's no. crazy. It's wow. it's that kind of thing. It, yeah. it just it's like gotten to the point where I'm, I don't care. Give me a product if it's not overtly racist. I'm pretty cool with it. Like right, like it just. All this cancel culture just makes you like sit back and reevaluate shit. Yeah, and go. Basically, that's that was the crux of my position is going like, is that is that not woke enough? Mm. Is that not woke enough? Mm. Because I am fine with any of it. I, I they're making a black Superman talking about Michael B. Jordan being Superman. Oh, that'd be. Cool. I'm so down with that. I feel like they're I feel like they're trying to give Michael B. Jordan too much. I I, I kind of agree like, with that as well. I feel like they're really running him like they're 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 really since since Chadwick died it's like everything has now has to be on michael b jordan well and what i if read it's a lead black character it has to it's, be, oh that's what it's making well and it like. sounds like they've they've they're actually like rewriting black panther 2 to make sure he's back in it yeah they could make a killmonger movie and i'd yeah, be fine with it i mean i wouldn't have a problem like before yeah, he saw, showed up oh go ahead oh no 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 go ahead go ahead I was I was gonna say I saw online that they were saying that the spinoff should be that like Killmonger like steps up in yeah. place mm-hmm. of um, the Black Panther like yeah. they kind of just recognize okay we no longer have the Black Panther but like we still need to like push forward with the story and like he becomes the new protagonist. But didn't he die? But the suit did he? Uh, they threw him off the because uh, he told bury me in the ocean. Yeah, I don't. I, I still don't think he died because Killmonger was still alive in the comics. Like that was. He was smiling whenever he would drop. Right, if I remember, he like he was trying to hold his hand. I remember at the end of the movie, and I just remember when he got taken out on that on those like love train things that were harvesting oh, yeah. the. Uh, by Man, that was such a great scene. Mm-hmm. It was because I'm sitting there with tears rolling down my face, and he's like, "Bury me in the sea." Mm-hmm. Like I'm just like, "Oh," because you know, because you know, Chitala didn't want to kill him. No, nah. he, he wanted to. He, he absolutely he wanted to bring him. In, you know, but it works though. The Black Panther works because it's like. The Spider Man suit almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So even without the person in it, somebody can always step in. That's why I don't see a problem with the girl. Yeah, I now, totally I, I want totally, the sister oh, I to totally, be yeah. the new I, I, I keep wanting sure. to say Riri Williams, but it's not her. That's the girl who's supposed to take over for Tony Stark. Right. Mm-hmm. What's the sister's name? Shuri. Shuri. That's I that would be like, so cool if she stepped up for yeah. Oh dude. What's the what's the she girl from to. South yeah, Carolina? Yeah. Uh the one that played in How to Get Away with Murder? The lead lady. I'm not sure. Is it she one? Oh, uh, Vi- Viola Davis? Yeah, oh, is yeah, she in there? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even if she was the no, new Black no, Panther, it'd be no, some crazy uh, stuff. Wasn't she like the- Viola Davis w- played um, the chick from Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, you're talking about his mother? Was it his mother? No, I, I remember it was the sister, and then it was the, the bald head chick. That's the chick from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Okay, no, yes. Oh, okay, Michonne. I got mixed up. Yeah, I got yeah Michonne in The Walking yes, Dead. Okay, God, okay. Are you watching The Walking Dead? Nah. You're not? Do you watch The Walking Dead? Oh my gosh. I quit I'm the after one. Glenn. I was like, what Stop. is this gore fest? Stop it. This show is fantastic. No, it's not. <laughs> what are we doing this week, guys? Same thing we do every week. We're running from zombies and fighting people. <laughs> I would rather watch the the kill, the zombie thing they do after the shows. The like yeah. show respect to all how all the zombies die. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty I've funny. never seen a show do that. That's that is that is entertaining. Like this week, this guy died. And it's like you're giving you're giving like the the actors that don't get a lot of credit yeah, absolutely. for their work like yeah. you know what I'm that reminds me of that key, key and peel segment oh, where they're one. supposed to be the zombies and he's like go out there I'm trying it out I'm going to do good watch how I do it he does it and he's like you though the other guy you you're doing great <laughs> quit upstaging me <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see racist zombies? No. The key no. and peel racist zombies. If you haven't seen it you got to look it up. It is it is one of the best uh, one of the best skits they ever did. Basically, it's Key and Peele. They're, they're, they're trying to make their way to the sheriff's office where there clearly would probably be weapons they could defend themselves with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so they're, they're, I think they were there with uh, Kevin Sorbo. Uh, Kevin Sorbo? Sorbo, yeah. I think, Jeez, I think uh, it was Kevin Sorbo. I'm almost sure it was. Was he the racist? Well, no. So <laughs> essentially, all of the zombies were racist. So Kevin Sorbo gets oh killed. God. I think I think Kevin Sorbo gets killed, but, but Key and Peele are trying to make their way you know, down the street uh, between all these zombies, but like they're as they approach zombies, like like the zombies just shy away from them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I do remember, they were like they There's didn't a, want to say nobody black. Yeah. <laughs> there, was a, there, was a, there was a zombie. There was a zombie in the car, and like Kim Peel start. They approach it, and they he start he, he locks the door on the car. <laughs> <laughs> these zombies are racist. <laughs> 
They easily, don't want to bite me. Look, easily one of their best skits. <laughs> I, I love Key and Peel. It was it was what Comedy Central offered us after the yes. Chappelle show. Yeah, and I I would okay, love man. I would love if some way somehow because now Dave Chappelle has came to grips with getting his name back. Yeah, if he could take Key and Peel and Dave Chappelle to and bring them together and just write. Oh right my skits. god! And you'll have your out. own network. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. You get what I'm saying? It, it, they would destroy, destroy no. Comedy Central and bring, so, bring sell it to Amazon. Central. Bring Neil Brennan back, the yeah. the writer, because that he dude, was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about a, like a juggernaut of a comedy trope? That would be fantastic. Hundred percent. When it, when the Daily Show trademark gets back trends in the idea, studio. they got to pay you if it comes. That's up. right. Oh yeah, you got to. That when when the Daily Show comes back into the studio, you'll see you'll see you will see Neil Brenner again. Yeah, because he's he's such is so a good funny. comedian, and he, it's such a good writer. Every time you heard Dave Chappelle go, "Damn it, Neil!" That's who yeah. he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite show? Oh, right no. now that you're watching, I'm not watching shows right now. You don't watch no shows. No, I watch no a lot Netflix, of like um nothing. I watch a lot of like crime docu like crime stuff on like YouTube and stuff. So That's have you my watched the Asian girl that I guess, oh, wait, 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 in the water, in the water yeah. tower. No, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did, I did I see that. It okay, so it's pretty good. Here's, here, I think ultimately you see all these specials coming out about the Cecil Hotel. Mm. I think that's because they've been doing renovations in the hotel. It's been closed for two or three years. Like it's, 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 it's so not a girl in your water supply. So what you're There's saying is well, this, that, was, that it could be that this could be a PR stunt. Yes. Wow. So are saying, they reopening now? Or yeah, they're reopening later. And this I heard year. the girl's oh, family wow. didn't even want this documentary to come out. Yeah, I heard that too. Really? But, oh yeah, because but they were like they're kind of like traditional. Yeah, yeah. she Asian was like from Korean. a different. Yeah, 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 and they don't like um, oh, a lot of uh, publicity, especially about no. death and stuff. Well, right? And how it happened too? Yeah, that they probably feel like kind of disrespected. Yeah. That's an example of of those people tried to cancel that metal guy, that dude who who who. If you haven't seen the documentary, there's a guy who was staying in the hotel at that time who made oh yeah 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 the yeah. metal music videos where yeah. he would wear like it was all about like girl there bro 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 just like going at it. Yeah. Shit. The dude was he creative. got canceled. Speaking of canceling, yeah, culture, that's, that's, what right, that's, right. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They canceled his ass. They ruined his fucking life. He had to go yeah. to like rehab after trying to kill himself wow. and yeah. stuff. And when they found out that the girl was uh, manic depressive and was on a manic kick, jumped into a tank where there ain't no ladder in yeah. there to get out of it. That's yeah. how she drowned. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this guy, not no one apologized. He was Not only that, I think they found out that he had stayed there like a year prior yeah. to her being there. Like, mm-hmm. they weren't even there, like, ru- right. like even close to the same time. And yeah. they ruined this man's life. Yeah. Well, and he, would... was in, he was in Mexico at yeah. the like, exact time that yep. she died. Recording his metal album. Yeah. Mm, had a complete alibi and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ruined crazy. his life because they were so convinced that, that he was... You sing about rape and murder, mm-hmm. which, you know, that's... Well, that's so you dig yourself a hole. <laughs> ultimately, the autopsy that was done on the on on the girl did not find that she had been raped, did not find nope. any cause for murder. So that was mm-hmm. just... It was it was basically left as an unknown... She, you know, had, she, she had a manic episode, and if anyone else has had that, you'll understand. You, and, yeah. and, and she went... And did something that on the surface, if you're not thinking, if you're balls to the wall, sure, swimming in this big tank of water and no one knows. But once you're in there and the shit ain't high enough to get out, you're yeah. screwed. How long probably, can you try to She was probably burning up in the inside. Like maybe she was just like feeling super hot and she's like, yo, my Well, and ultimately they did prove she that might have she could have paranoid had access. Yeah. She was looking really scared on the elevator, yeah. kind yeah, of like poking looking, her head out. Yeah. 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 And like yeah. if you're manic and you're scared, like you're going to like. You're gonna hide. Yeah. You're gonna hide, no well, matter and what. Ultimately, they also think that there's potential that there was somebody else outside of the elevator, outside yeah. of that yeah. video, that was holding the button so that the doors wouldn't close. Because the door wouldn't close. Well, like the yeah. one thing these these conspiracy sleuths did was went to the damn place and held the button and realized, yeah. oh, it doesn't do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and and then they found her naked, so they're like, rape? No. No. She's treading water. water. Yeah, yeah. Treading water. You're like, get this shit off of me. Yeah. yeah. Um, she should have floated on her back. Maybe I don't. I don't know. See, I can't tread water. We talked about this before. Yeah, I can't, you'd be done. Tra- tra- be if you done. ever get in the situation where you're stuck, I would in the water, never be in a tank. <laughs> call just one call of us first. But also, Any just of us. float on your back. You eventually will float. <laughs> so. That doesn't never work. It does work. <laughs> you're gonna tell me, and I've I've, I've sunk. <laughs> like I've tried it. You don't understand. You think I get in the pool and don't try it? Well, like, I'd be in four foot pools Trent, sometimes, and I'll try to do it. it, it like, here, where are your feet? <laughs> They're probably like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's right here. No, man, because I've watched plenty of, I've watched, you good. I've watched plenty of movies where I've seen 
I'm going to say it. I've seen white people just frozen, <laughs> and they're just so calm. And it's like, why can't I do that? <laughs> like, why can't I do that? Dude, I'm not great at it, but if I'm about to die, I'm like, floating is my last option. I'm going to lean back. I don't like water getting now, in my ears. It messes me up. Now, tell me the, dumb, t- the dumbest thing about this. So I can do that floating thing mm-hmm. if I'm facing the water. So my body. Okay. So you can you can effectively drown. You just can't yeah. float. Can't <laughs> float. It's, it's, it's a it's a thing that messes. You know what? It, it, this it, summer we're gonna cancel his fear of water. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna teach him how to float. This. Sounds like y'all trying to kill me, but uh, if I can't look at a little word, I'd watch it die. Oh, she is EMT, <laughs> so I'm gonna need her in the oxygen tank yeah. beside the pool. You're there will be supervision. Deep. You're gonna have to yeah. like hammer fist Trent's I don't heart. Get, don't worry about how deep. My grandma told me a long time ago you can be drowned in a teaspoonful of water. That is probably. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. All you need is a little bit of water to get into your lungs. Like you is can drink it? water the wrong way and effectively drown I, days later. There's kids who have wow. died after yeah. like getting a bath and having the water in their lungs, and then like an hour later, suffocation. Goodness. Yeah. Mm. Well, that happy moment brought to you by the All About Nothing podcast. So we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna talk about the uh, the fifteen dollar minimum wage that is not yet coming. So we'll do that here just after uh, I don't know a couple minutes. So we'll be right back. We have to thank our sponsor, GOT Sound Studio, and its owner and operator, Dominique Stewart, better known as Neek the Geek. GOT Sound Studios offers a variety of recording experiences from music, voice, and instrumental recordings and production, as well as podcasts. GOT Sound Studio is located in Columbia, South Carolina, and operated by the most talented producer and engineer in the business. GOT Sound Studio is a black-owned business. Bring your recording business needs here. You can find details on their Facebook page or by calling 803-243-2302 or emailing gotsounds at theallaboutnothing.com. That's gotsounds at theallaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. All right, Nothingers, I want to cue you in about a friend of the pod, MW Graphics. If you own a business or restaurant and the time has come to build that unique brand, you have got to get a hold of MW Graphics. MW Graphics specializes in brand identity, including logos, business cards, flyers, and anything else to promote your business. And now, MW Graphics offers printing services to help with your clothing needs, including sports teams. I can tell you from our own experience, MW Graphics is responsible for our new logo, as well as the Ball of Duty softball team logo and jersey sponsored by the All About Nothing podcast. And we couldn't be happier with what's been produced. For more information, you can search Facebook for MW87 Graphics. You can email mwgraphics at theallaboutnothing.com. That's mwgraphics at theallaboutnothing.com. You can find links in the Friends of the Pod section of our website. Visit theallaboutnothing.com. Hey everyone, I want to take a quick moment to mention one of our new sponsors, ThePaintedMoment.com. That's ThePaintedMoment.com. Check this out. Have you ever taken a photo with your phone or digital camera that would look amazing as a watercolor canvas painting? Well, now there's a website ready to take your photo and turn it into digital painted moments. This is how it works. Visit ThePaintedMoment.com, follow the instructions, and your digital photo will be enhanced and returned to you with links on where you can have an image printed to canvas or whatever else you'd like to do with it. We've already got a couple of these enhanced photos hanging around the house, and trust me, you'll love what comes out. ThePaintedMoment.com. Create a painted moment in time from your digital photos. ThePaintedMoment.com. Seriously, check them out today. ThePaintedMoment.com. All right, welcome back to the show, everybody. Reporting live in front of the studio audience. It's all about Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I mentioned, I teased uh, before the break that uh, we were going to talk about the minimum wage uh, being raised at fifteen dollars an hour. And honestly, I I feel like it's it's time. Ultimately, we should have a fifteen dollar minimum wage. Is it time or has it been time? Well, Barrett? it's been time for a long time. Okay. Time. The most hilarious uh, anti-argument to that is people who go like, I'm like $15 an hour and I worked hard to get there. Did you? I hate that. Sure. Like, shut up. Don't sure. you realize there's so much money out there and these corporations <laughs> make so much fucking money. Like, they can afford to pay people at least 10 
At least. Like, we're sitting here, like, yeah. at 725 still. It's been 725 still? since 2009. Nowhere in America can you find an apartment and live off of 725. Yeah. I don't think 15 an hour is a living wage. I don't think it's it not. I'm, I don't, it's not. It's no. not. I know people that make that now, even in Colombia, and it's still not enough. Amazon, they be at the club. Amazon came out. <laughs> they be at the club balling. Amazon came out, and they they literally, like, put this video out of, like, employees who, they're like, everyone here it makes at least $15 an hour. Look at this, and they like showed this woman like spending with her time with her family. I was like, you don't spend time with your family no. at all. And not yeah. only that, you're the night owl. Mm. Like, you're working at night and having to like strive to be awake during the day. So if minimum, you're off. if minimum wage had been on the increase along the, the same as productivity, if in, it, since 1968 we would be at 24 dollars an hour right now. Mm. Wow. Ultimately, even if we get to fifteen dollars an hour, we're only talking about somebody earning thirty-one thousand dollars a year. Right. That's, that's ultimately if they work forty hours a week right. yep. for fifty-two weeks a year. Yeah. They're not getting any vacation. You do not get sick with that. That. Yeah. And that's the other thing is you're talking about thirty-one thousand dollars to live off of. Right. You're 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 gonna have to have health insurance. Well, yeah, and, and that's exactly what I was about to say. Stack on the fact that your quote unquote benefits that are health insurance. Are going to sit there and at the minimum take two hundred dollars out of every, every paycheck. Yeah, potentially every week. Every week. I mean, it, it's it, it is insane to me that we still have and and ultimately it's because the corporations like Walmart and and the, these giant corporations that aren't using fifteen dollars as their minimum, they have this. It's such a and I get it. It's their company, but it's so greedy. I think so, too. And I think something that's really messed up is why is Walmart allowed to be as big of a competitor as it is, but it has the most amount of people on government assistance? How Absolutely. are you the biggest like employer in pretty much like I think most of the southeast region? Almost. But the most. Yeah. Right. And but most of like a lot of their um, employees are are not making enough to where they need state assistance. How are they allowed to operate? And do you know where they're spending most of their government assistance? At Walmart. Right. Like Walmart, buying buying goods again. <laughs> Walmart makes almost all like like a lot of the money that Walmart makes is actually there's a percentage of it that's that's not small. Like it they yeah. make a lot of their money off of their own employees. And yep. if you work if you work Black Friday at Walmart as I have you deserve fifty dollars an hour yeah. to deal with these animals. Oh my god, I couldn't imagine. I'd hide. I quit. I, I think yeah. it was the week after. I was like, you know what? Fuck you Walmart. So you should have quit the week before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that no, shit yeah. was gonna. And happen. then showed up. She got, Friday. She got yeah. a couple TVs out there. I think, I think the, the, the most like I was literally like just exposed to how gross people can be. Oh, for sure. Was that it, like just. Pure like biblical fucking greed, no, just disgusting. Like stampedes yeah. trying to get like fifty inch TVs, ripping shit up, fist fighting over Dr. Dre's headphones. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, like God damn, you know, all of it. And, like, so, so, you so, expect the dude making ten dollars an hour to go right. like, fellas, yeah, fellas, right. fellas. No, I'm like, fight. Here's another. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Well, well, ding, ding, ding. I got some little fun fact. Right yeah. Yeah. A little fun fact. While Walmart refuses to raise its eleven dollar minimum wage. Alicia Walton had a had no problem purchasing five hundred million dollars in private art collection, buying twenty five million dollars um, in a second floor apart avenue condo with fifty two windows, and acquiring twenty two million uh, for four thousand four hundred acres in for her Texas ranch. I'm gonna go out on a branch and say that that is uh, the granddaughter of Sam Sam Walton. I'm thinking granddaughter. Gr- Dude, wait, man. how much did she spend on art, real quick? Uh, that would be five hundred million. Okay, because um, I remember reading that like apparently uh, like art. the art uh industry is like a huge money laundering. Oh, thing. Yeah. like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy. Well, five hundred million on, anything, yes. on art. On art. <laughs> but you can't okay. pay your you can't pay your people fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah. See, if I was an art crazy. dude, I would have Rick from Pawn Stars be my like negotiator. Like, I'm gonna call a guy. <laughs> now I had a I had a little I had a little, I'm. I'm Conspiracy theories on Pawn Stars. Bum, I, bum, bum. <laughs> I think that the people they actually get to bring in to assess if the stuff is real or not mm-hmm. are getting paid for the stuff. They're getting it. Yeah. They're, they're, no, they're so getting paid they, to come so in. If you're thinking that your item is ten thousand and they know it's worth ten thousand, they're gonna tell you it's worth five thousand just yeah. so they can lowball you. Yeah, right? but they'll also come in there and be like, "This is complete doo doo butter," and like, no, <laughs> it's. Yeah. Ultimately, I just I, I have an issue. So the Democrats uh, ultimately what happened this week was the the minimum wage raising it to fifteen dollars an hour 
was part of the bill that came over from the House, but the ha- the Senate parliamentarian took it out mm. uh, essentially because there was objection from Republicans. Mm-hmm. And the Senate parliamentarian is not an elected, I guess, an elected official. So what's she that is, person's name? Oh, person's name. This person, uh, her name is, she's 55-year-old. Uh, how did I not put her name in here? That's crazy. 55-year-old Senate parliamentarian, first woman ever to hold the position. Uh, it's an unimportant women's month. Yeah. It's, Come on, uh, ladies. <laughs> well, and she was appointed. She was appointed during the uh, the, the Biden. I'm not sorry. The the uh, the, 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 the Obama. Uh, oh, Obama. Yeah. yeah. Mm. She and, and she's done a good job. Mm. Ultimately, I, I I have to agree with her in the sense the reason she took it out was because there was objection. Mm. There was objection because this is a budgetary bill that's being pushed through the Senate. It was pushed through the Senate under reconciliation. Was basically. Three times a year, we get the opportunity to uh, push through bills that potentially would not have the supermajority of 60 votes. So, But the only time we can use a reconciliation is on budgetary matters, um, like raising the debt ceiling and, and, and passing a budget or military spending, that sort of thing. Right. So it's, it's, it's available in, in the sense because most of the time the Senate never reaches a 60-40 split. Yeah. So you, you, they, they have this in place to take care of that. Um, but right now, so so they use the bird rule, uh, which defines the provision as being extraneous and, and, and therefore not part of the necessary bill. And ultimately, we would have probably not seen there be enough votes because Senator Manchin from West Virginia and um, Kirsten what her never know Kristen Gyllenhaal or mm-hmm. not that's that's not her name. <laughs> the guy from West Virginia was the one really clogging stuff up. For yeah, everybody. Yeah, that that it it, 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 it yes. Yeah. It aggravates me that even Arizona. the bill has to go through Congress, approved, through the Senate, approved, back to Congress. Well, it's going back to the House. So the House, I, I feel like most likely the House is probably just going to go ahead and, yeah. and vote on it so that it'll push the stimulus package through. We'll see. Well, there will be money invested now into uh, pushing the vaccine to to as many places as possible so that we can get vaccine. I'm hoping to get the vaccine this week. $1,400 checks as well. $1,400 checks per person. So. I need that, man. My wife was out of work for how how. Five, four and five months, and I'm sitting there having to cover everything. I have credit card debt. That, like, uh, do you need it, sir? You just got a Series X last week. <laughs> I pay on the payment plan. <laughs> I did not fork out the money for okay, it. On, okay, on, on the... okay. But ultimately, I'm not. I'm not pocket watching. But, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there are people that are suffering that, yeah. that do need this money to help pay because they they are so far behind on their. Yeah. You know, ultimately, and and thankfully, we've had a moratorium on on people having to pay mortgages where they can't afford them or paying rent where they can't afford of it, and and this money will help to at least potentially bring them up. Again, I said this several weeks ago. I don't think this is going to be the last stimulus package we see under be. Biden. I think there is the potential that we will see at least two more stimulus packages. And I get it. It's going to cost a trillion dollars per stimulus. But I you think know they're going to kill it. It's not real money. We are not yeah. talking. It's only real money for people that, that yeah. are below a certain threshold. Right. It's not real money. So the money. Fed's a Ponzi scheme. Right, Trent? Why not? <laughs> Why not? It, 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 but it's, it's absolutely true. It's, it's, it doesn't matter to them. They're going to spend that money on... Regardless. Exactly. Yeah. We spent $1.7 billion. On a, a trillion dollars. Wall, <laughs> no, no, no. We spent $1.7 trillion on that F-35 jet that doesn't even fly. Mm. And we turned around and sold them for a third... What, we sold them for, for three cents on the dollar to, to, to yeah. Saudi Arabia. I, I And that blows my mind, too. How do you spend so much time building like lucky i think it was lucky martin built yeah. these f-35s yeah and you got one for marine corps you, that'll take off like a harrier jet and you have all these, sure and then they go and sell them to the people you're gonna like you're gonna what? go to war with yeah. maybe one day you know? and look, it is completely the iron man and neek's gonna appreciate this but it is that whole iron, iron man, man one shit yeah. where he's building weapons and he comes back and what is the shit that he's having to fight against yeah his, his own, own weapons, weapons. But, i mean it is that kind of thing and it, it that i mean i know you got to make money outside of the government but the, this government also spends like 11 billion dollars a year on each aircraft carrier right yeah that is insane. Do you think it will take? Do you think fifteen dollars an hour will, will take out small businesses? No, on, oh, honestly, no. Uh, in fact, in fact, I I have read in places, but I have not verified it. But there are loopholes available for small businesses where fifteen dollars an hour would not be required for them. If you work in a, mm. in the food industry, you don't get paid fifteen dollars an hour because you work off of tips. Well, that's fucked on a different level. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, mm. but like for instance, if this pandemic didn't happen. 
and Xbox and PlayStation release their consoles, I don't think GameStop would be going down the toilet, at least not as big of a turd, because everybody wants to go get their console. Right. And I... I can speak for me personally when I think I need I need to physically go somewhere and get a game or yeah, something. I'm going to go to GameStop. I want yeah. the game. Yeah, I'm with you. I love. I'm not going to buy a console that only has digital. I mean, yeah. right. I get that, but I also have physical games. Yeah. I think I think there's so many variables in this crap, and for them to piss and moan over helping Americans for a change is is absurd. It, one of the, it's crazy. One of the arguments I really get tired of is is if they raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour, all of these companies that sell products say that they're going to have to raise the prices on things in order to cover this this cost. They've already been doing it. No, it's exactly, going to come into your it's going to cut into your pocket, Mr. Yes. Manager CEO. So ultimately like a Walmart has been buying products extremely cheaply from China and from other countries overseas. And and ultimately, they haven't been paying much, and they continue to pay less and less for these products because manufacturing technology is improved, you know, shipping technology is improved. And we Donald have, Trump just gave you a big tax break. Yeah, well, that's a huge one. Trent, that is a huge one. Look up how much a manager I, I of a Walmart. I, I can't. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I want to know. Somebody so, didn't give me the Wi-Fi, but we can go talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> Walmart. So apparently, Walmart. So like the Walmart that I shop at has thirty six aisles. And it has six or eight checkout uh, self checkout aisles, and of the actual regular self, uh, regular checkout aisles, they're only utilizing four of them, and but the they're people- using all of the eight ones. So when are they going to pay me for my time in Walmart, having to walk around and find my own groceries and products, wow. and then ultimately checking myself out because they're not even hired? They not they don't even have people working the checkout stands. Well, they got people. Those people that were supposed to be working the checkout stands have now have a new job. That now I'm gonna get a a a a, a, a little scanner, and I'm actually gonna go around and shop for somebody online. Now the online shopper is more important than the actual right. shopper in store. Right. Yeah. So that's what it's coming down to. And now the online shopper gets their de- their groceries and stuff delivered to their car. They don't even have to leave. It's people that pull up to Walmart, and it's like. You would think that they're the secret service, like how yeah. they just come out there. Oh, sir, we're right there. They for deliver you. groceries now too. My yeah. downstairs neighbor gets it. So. We get ours. We get ours delivered. Yeah. Ultimately, because somebody's picking it, so they're getting paid for it, and now there's a driver that's driving it. So ultimately, uh, they're, and they're giving it to us for free because we paid the whatever it is for Walmart Plus. But mm. ultimately, Hold on, they have Walmart Plus. Yeah, there's a Walmart oh Plus. Do you it's sound a like me being like. They give you masks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I have not been to Walmart like, in Walmart over a year. Plus, that's but, crazy. But Think so, but it now, but at least I, you know, there is someone who's now being paid for delivering the groceries to mm. me. So it feels so, and and I justify it with the fact that that there's two people at least now that are earning that. There's a job now created for two people. One of them's driving. One of them's picking. I, I I don't see it down. Like somebody somebody said, well, oh, well, you make enough money, you can do that. I was like, no, 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 no. No, I, I this this is me trying to make sure that because I've gotten stimulus package already, or yeah. I, I haven't gotten the second one yet. Still, <laughs> because, my mom hasn't either. <laughs> but file your taxes, Barrett. I my taxes are filed. I'm waiting on my refund. Yeah. It'll be an adjustment on, or it'll be. So you looking at the little beacon, refund. be like pending. It says and it says it's says, been accepted. Waiting. For <laughs> That's all it says. It says I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that stimulus to come through because I'm not having. Go off my other. The stimulus shit. probably will come way before your taxes come back. No, I'm talking about. Pass the fucking bill. We've been oh, waiting. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's a and possibility. And then pass the next two. Yeah. Pass. Continue. Ultimately, I, I I really hoped that this pandemic would have created a scenario in this country where people recognize that you don't, you should not, the relationship between healthcare and uh, having a well-paying job should not be related. There should not be right. any the, any relation. You should just be guaranteed healthcare in this country. But then people that are ignorant bring up the socialist. Uh, uh, communism. Uh, you drive on roads. You have police take uh, care of dude. you. You have. My whole thing is like, I thought insurance was supposed to be like a worst case scenario Agreed. thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Be. Like, you know, even with healthcare, you know, in place, you know, bill hospital bills and stuff are still supposed to be affordable. Like, can, like we need to talk about why they're not. You know, why yeah. is a bag of saline in America two hundred dollars, but in Egypt it's three? Yeah. Oh yeah, because there's an agreement between the insurance companies yeah. and and the manufacturers or the doctors' offices, the middleman, the hospital. Yeah. To so quote have... Dave Chappelle when he did his pop copy sketch, 
Because fuck them, that's why. Mm. And that, that is exactly why. <laughs> well, because they're, yeah. they're going to take, they're going to get guaranteed going to get a chunk from your insurance company. Mm-hmm. And whether they get the rest from you with, you know, insurance companies have to take, medical places have to take the, your payments. Whether it's yeah. $5, if, they, if they're, luckily that that's in existence. But they're going to get a money from A lot of people don't know that. Well, yeah. ultimately, though, that's not actually even available in some states. In, in some places, that's not even available. Like, mm. you can't just say, I want to do that. They, they will come after your taxes. Mm. They yeah, will, they will they come will. after your state taxes. Oh, yes. In, in, in several states, they'll, but if you have outstanding bills, they will just... Not through experience of my own, but people I know, that they'll... It's if you don't pay at yeah. all, that's when they come and get your taxes, at least in this state. Well, ultimately... It, it shouldn't make any difference. There, there are 136 other countries in this planet that don't make as much money oh, as the Our United neighbor States. to the north and our, our home country of, of England, they make that socialist uh, medicine. We, so I got two questions. One, one's for everybody, and the second one would be for Tanya. Okay. okay. So why do y'all think... Why do y'all think... Um, at our county? No, that one went, just went down. Oh, weird. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Why do you think that... Um, why do you think car insurance has been going down so much? Off Mine of, just went up. $14. No, but I'm saying like if you go, it's a lot of like it's a lot of like apps mm-hmm. and stuff like new car insurance where you can pay like forty nine dollars for like the okay. car insurance. So now. I'm gonna, I, I I understand why it's because of the 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 number of insurance companies that are coming out because. Ultimately, that's that's the whole idea behind free market, and and I agree with the free market system. I, I believe that you should have competitors, which is part of insurance in general. That yeah. there should be an open market to insurance, but it's not. Yeah. In South Carolina, we have like we have like four hospitals as well. Yeah, yeah. I was they right. should be with the healthcare providers. We have Prisma or Lexington Medical. Yeah, here yeah. here, in, here in, in, in Columbia. Right. You know, and 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 because those two, I'm not. You know, Lexington Medical is a for-profit hospital, where yeah. Prisma is a non-profit hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, even the non-profit hospital has board members that will make a bonus of millions of dollars. Yeah. How is that a non-profit? Mm-hmm. Goodwill's a non-profit, and they can literally mark anything they want. Exactly. Where's the non-profit part of this? Because the president walking through in his like fucking polo <laughs> fleece thing. I've I've been there, yeah. and he's going like, "You guys are doing a great job." It's like, get the out of here like, <laughs> you don't like, you don't know. you don't care you're not you're not helping yeah. like <laughs> i don't you need go to dig see through that. that bin and figure out yeah. what do you want <laughs> yeah like oh and to critique these people like goodwill was instantly like an eye opener they don't give you a set price they'll bitch at you if you set it too low when it comes in right mm. but then they're like well what's reasonable mm. Reasonable. So that's too low. You that got lamp, it for that free. Lamp, that lamp should be twenty. Yeah, it's pure profit. Yeah, it is pure profit. This and was a donation that you may have had to run a Lysol wipe over. Yeah, that was it. it's pure profit. And it, and the people who work there, knowing it, having been one, and then became becoming a manager, seeing that and going, where is it coming back to the people who are having to do this for one? And then right. you're, you're giving people, and this is this is the wool over the eyes. You give them this tax receipt. Right, you cannot put even if you donate a vehicle more than five hundred dollars on that ticket. Ah, I didn't know that. Doesn't matter. Did not know that. And it's only useful if you itemize your taxes. And and for the most part, they've created standardized deductions, so yeah. there's no point in. No. That's the reason why if you have a a really shitty car and you go to a car dealership, the most they'll give it to you is five hundred. Nope, they gave me four thousand for one that was about to die. But you donate. I, I've had multiple people, and as a manager, I had to drive these jalopies. Some of them weren't so bad <laughs> around to the back and wait for the tow truck to come for it. Yeah. And these people are like, that's at least $1,000. And I'm like, go ahead. What? Yeah, if you think that. I hope you have a tax person because the IRS is going to come back around and be like, what the fuck did you do? Yeah. Okay, second question for Talia. Where do you think the flu has went? Where do I think the flu went? Yeah. <laughs> you mean this year? This year. I mean. It's thanks to the people. Well, we'll let Talia. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah, I had that conversation with somebody. They were like, you know, as soon as COVID came out, everybody had COVID. Nobody had the flu. <laughs> I'm you, it's scary. It's really scary. So like, I know where he's going. I've never had the flu. I know where you're going. <laughs> here's here here's, I also in the most. Here's, I know that a lot of hospitals that was a real get money. <laughs> no, I, it, it has gone down. It's it's the lowest ever. I think it is. Right? Ever. Yeah. It, it, it is, and ultimately, I. 
Well, you, hospitals are getting money off of like every COVID diagnosis, basically. So like the more people they can say like, okay, well we're treating COVID here, we're treating COVID here, we're treating COVID here. Like mm. you know they're getting act- like added There's funding and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if that's the case for like every single hospital, but I know that is the case for some. You would really hope some people, some doctors have some sort of integrity, and I'm sure it's actually not the doctors. It's more of the office managers or or whoever who bills it, the billing yeah. department. He's like COVID. It's a diagnosis yeah. code. Yeah, mm-hmm. for them, it's a diagnosis code. Yeah. Ultimately, I, I, my opinion on where the flu went, and mm-hmm. it's there's some science behind it, is the fact that even though we see people not wearing masks out in public, there are a lot more people wearing masks. There are a lot more people staying home because they have symptoms of something, mm-hmm. and those people are not then passing just the normal. They have flu. people usually yeah. come to work. Yeah, feeling a little snot, a little snotty, but yeah, I'm like, I'm still going as, in because I still need to get this checked. As soon as soon as somebody walks into our office that has symptoms, man, HR is on them. Fourteen quick. days yeah. quarantine, you, and you're getting you, paid. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, is, sir. Nah. <laughs> the government provides eighty hours to full time positioned employees if they if they go out with COVID. Mm. Uh, so uh, you know that's the thing is that I you know we are we are we are working. Progr- progressively towards this idea that everyone could potentially be taken care of under in this pandemic yeah. that there is money available to take care of people and i i truly believe that from this we could build a system of a or a healthcare system that provides for your, your medical necessity you know ultimately that's that's what everything comes down to but but also honestly it it's not just our external health, it's our internal health. We we absolutely, people need to start taking better care of themselves in situations where a pandemic comes across. Because, uh, you know, speaking for myself, yeah. obesity is, is absolutely one of the underlying conditions for COVID-19 100%. to give you terrible, terrible effects. And... It 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 is it, if if we take care of ourselves better and we we're less reliant on like the McDonald's and the the Burger Kings and stuff it's like that. It's so convenient, Bear. I understand that, that and, and that's. I'm not, I mean, it. hooray just, for Burger King for making the Impossible Burger, but I mean, like that should be a point of contention too, right? Do Come we out with some healthy ass. But it's not, it's really not even healthy. healthy. Yeah, it's I was not, about to say it's not no, healthy. That was eating. just a moral burger. Yeah. That's right, a moral right, burger. Right, right, it's right, not right, a health right. burger. No, no, it's full of sodium. Like yeah, that, yeah. That, you're eating. You're eating a salt patty. That's why it tastes so good. Right. But Ooh, like, yeah. you you mm. definitely need you need some kind of incentive. And if it has to come from the government, that'd be rad. That'd be yeah. the best. Like, mm-hmm. but I would love to go through a restaurant real quick where all you have to do is wrap something that's baked chicken. Something yeah. real quick and mm-hmm. and not fried in grease or anything right. like that. Yeah. That'd be great, but you don't have it because it takes too long. You, it's the same reason cattle don't bitch about getting fed what they get fed. You come through to eat real quick. You're full. You're not even thinking about that. You're what like, you ate? Let me stop my hunger real yeah. quick. But even that food is chemically cre- that it's chemically enhanced so that you don't feel full. So that you'll come back again in three or four Some hours. Some of it. That's yeah. like eating Chinese food. You're hungry an hour later. No oh, 100%. How, yeah, no, no matter, matter how much what you eat. No. <laughs> I've seen somebody come out the mall with a plate that's stacked up. No, you're going to throw away half of it, and you're going to be hungry as hell. 100%. So one of the solutions that I think would potentially at least get people thinking in the right direction would be that that the not not that I'm in favor of the government having access to media in, in, in a way like, you know, like in Russia, but the potential of having... Every every media outlet being responsible for playing, I don't know, two hours of, of of public announcements in 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 relation to things like health and things like that, so that they could potentially tell people, hey, you know, eat eat a balanced. Meal. They will lose viewers. Make everybody yeah. watch. Make everybody watch <laughs> an hour of Mister Goodbody. People have you yeah. ever seen a commercial come Maybe like TV? some like forced relearning that. stuff. Yeah. You know, like, reading yeah. Rainbow Time. Sit in the fucking court. Pull your mat out. But it's not a it's not a bad idea to educate people on what they Definitely. should be. You have to Definitely. do it in a cool way, Barrett. Like putting it on for two hours. You is get way Zach too long. Slater, Zach and Slater from uh, No, that's not. Wasn't it like no. Nickelodeon or Disney used to have like those commercials for kids talking about like what's a balanced I think that was diet PBS. or something or PBS? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to go crazy. Oh, that's public Def- podcast. Right, yeah. right. Well, I just missed yeah. Mr. Goodbody. But if we used to have to. But we liked it though. We no, like opted yeah. in. No, we Everyone didn't like it. We. I loved only, PBS. No. No. Zoom, Zoom, Let's Zoom. Be like, honest. I, like I loved the Zoom. No, you show. didn't. Yes, I did. Look, you have to be honest. 
We only had those few channels, so we had to listen to those. So Damn, I wasn't even going to go there. <laughs> I wasn't it. even going to go there. They programmed us. <laughs> yeah, you are right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Barrett is the only person here. Italia, I don't know how, you're old, how old you are, but you don't have to mention it. But Mr. Goodbody was one where he, he wore an elastic suit with yes. the nervous system and the ventricular yes. system on him. And he'd be nice. like, salt. Salt's the devil. <laughs> 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 like, and that shit was around since like the mid 70s. That is awesome. <laughs> they must have cut that off after 91. Bro, after I, I was, was in born, kindergarten. They're like, these, kid, these kids are too healthy. Like, how can we make them like. 100%. They was yeah. like, yo, go, McDonald's got a new playpen. Yeah. Have, right. Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. take your kids to McDonald's, birthday parties, that is all exactly. of that. Exactly. That is. Oh my gosh, I hadn't even thought That's about scary, that. Why right? do they have a playpen in there? Now the playpen isn't being used. Have y'all seen all these playpens at McDonald's now? It's deserted. Oh, you go yeah. there to die. Yeah, yeah, I went to one and <laughs> the one on Shop Road, bro. They're using it as storage. I'm telling you right now, wow. if my kid goes into the ball pit at McDonald's, she's riding home on the roof. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get home as free. Like hosting down, down outside, yeah. 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 Have, you realized, <laughs> have you realized Chick-fil-A? <laughs> have you realized Chick-fil-A, like before the pandemic, a lot of Chick-fil-A's were starting to have playpens. Yeah, yeah now definitely. they're they're Pointless now. Chick Fil A is going into a playpen. Now. Just as an aside, Chick Fil A is so awkward. I drive through that thing, and it's like a three lane three lane highway going through it. <laughs> but it's so fast. And it's faster than interstate. There's a, yeah. literally like those those videos where you have someone running beside the car taking your order. They yeah. do that. They shit. do. I'm they like, walk with you. They're like, all right, come on, come yeah, on, come, come on. with me. Yeah. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna pull up a little bit because I can't see the menu, and I don't come here a lot. But I'm gonna, and she's like, "Oh, I have it right here." Yeah, go, go, yep. go ahead and start driving. And she's like, "You see what you want?" And I'm just like, <laughs> <"No."> <laughs> "Uh huh, uh huh." Yeah, no, it's it's so crazy. I can't relate. I have my Chick Fil A delivered. I got, that, bro. I got like thirty five thousand points. I mean, thirty five hundred points. Oh, Chick Fil A. Gabrielle baby. probably has you beat. That chick is like, if she's in the red. Oh, I respect. Her. I'm like, are are you hungry? She's like Chick Fil A. I'm like. For fuck's sake. <laughs> She'll go in the morning. Like I'm, I'm starting working and, and eating, just sleeping in a little swing. And she's like, "I'm gonna go get Chick Fil A breakfast." <laughs> How, hold on, where you live? How close is the Chick Fil A? Like Harbison. Okay, okay. So that's not a. That's um, not, that's not a quick it's drive. But it's though. the worst Chick Fil A no, ever. No, yeah, no, I was about to say. It's down oh my god, Chick Fil A on anything? Harbison shuts down that whole operation. Whole yeah. and then like put the mall right there. Too? Yeah, like, bro, yeah. No, Chick Fil A the, needs its and, own. And they got a Chick Fil A in spot. the mall, like pro- in proximity. They're yeah. like a football field away. And then they took over the. They took over the uh, parking lot. Parking over lot. There. They put a whole new. Hold on, hold on. So I'll just say shout out, shout out to to Katie McCray. McCray. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. We have. We have. No, we have a friend named Katie who is the actual marketing director for the Chick-fil-A at the mall. Mm. So <laughs> like they've gotten they have a brand new food truck that oh, apparently yeah. is going to start Dominican deliveries and things That's like that. That's crazy, bro. The and to think about it, I mean, it's that from the mall at that stoplight is the Chick-fil-A directly across. Yeah. So yeah. you have to take that curved turn to get over to mm-hmm. the interstate. That's when you have a line of cars and it's green for the people on the other side yeah. and they're just blocking your shit and you're I, I remember just like punching my horn, like you <laughs> sons of bitches. Yeah, <laughs> everyone does it. Like no one's moving, and everyone's just like, like, like just here. releasing I'm anger. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm gonna be completely honest. That, that one of the things I've noticed is it doesn't even make a difference if Chick Fil A is open. Person <laughs> traffic is crap. Oh, it's oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, like, and, and I make this argument all the time that I fully believe that at some point here in the near future they just need to clear all the people out from Harbison. Nuke it and start over. <laughs> like we got a no... we got a thin sheen of glass here from that nuclear explosion. Just build on top of it. Take Worst it thing out. they ever did in Harbison is take the chilies away. Okay, mm, chilies. <laughs> wow, I miss chilies. Fuck I that too. chilies. You I remember get... I sat down one time and like nobody came to the table. No. <laughs> like nobody That's the came. Thing. At chilies, you don't have an okay experience. You have the worst experience you <laughs> right. ever had, or you have the best. <laughs> it's, it's one or the other, and you're taking a gamble when you go. Definitely, absolutely, every time. That's the way I feel about Chick Fil A. Sometimes when I go to Chick Fil A, it's like no, I I love the flavor of Chick Fil A. I think it's outstanding. The problem is, is that my system doesn't agree with the peanut oil that they boil everything in. Mm. So it's like, oh, this is tastes so good, and then hours of of reconciliation is is the only thing I can describe it well, as. And they're definitely one more Republican president away uh, from praying with you. <laughs> Do you want to pray for your <laughs> food oh my right gosh, here? So right. right? I was like, what are we taking uh, this? Hold uh, <laughs> <window> on, <up> now. <laughs> hold on. Let's say this prayer before you drive off. <laughs> Get your hands off the side. Get your hands off the side. Get, get your hands off. And don't get me wrong. I, I don't mind companies that 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 
perhaps maybe you know speak about their 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 faith and things like that. Uh-huh. That doesn't bother me. Yeah. Down with the gays. All but, right, Chick Fil A, calm down. I made <laughs> I made a joke one time where I said. I don't think that Psalm one eighteen twenty four is God bless America because that's what they write on the cup. Of cook, of cook, I okay. got John three sixteen. John three sixteen is definitely not God bless America. So there. <laughs> Wait, did they quote John three sixteen? No, but but essentially, if you have no idea, then you see Psalm one eighteen twenty four. God bless America. There is the potential that if you have no idea, that you may read that and be like. Well, oh, mine's kind of close. Mine says, "For God so loved the world that He gave that His only." Gave that is John yeah. three sixteen. But that, mm. as as it says in the Bible, John three sixteen, "God bless America." <laughs> did Jesus grow up in America? <laughs> if you're Mormon, he did. I got. I have some conspiracy theories that there is a potential that, that yeah, that Jesus walked in America because there are Native Amer. There are apparently Native American tribes out there that that reported. Back in the early 200s, that that there was a white man that came and prophesied. Yeah, it was definitely the Viking throwing around axes. I don't that that's the whole thing. And Mormon Mormonism uh, claims, and they deleted in there, and they deleted a part about black people in the 80s, but that um, Native Americans were destined for sin or something, and that's yeah. why they have dark skin, right? And I was just like, wow, this is great religion. That you can clearly disprove because John S- Joseph Smith was a complete drunk. D- oh, drunk, liar, cheater, everything yeah. in the book. Yeah. Tried to come to Missouri and uh, Missourians or however, whatever you would say about them. <laughs> We're like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Go to Utah where they play that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but again, I don't have any issue. If, you're, if your company wants to promote your faith, then, then fine. I, and, and I don't feel like this is being thrown in my face. I just You want to know the funniest thing about that is, Barry? Is this going to be like really, really funny? Because oh. I'll do the... Oh, no, this is, this is the funniest. If you want, if, like, like on a Sunday, if y'all want to really be amused, sit in Chick-fil-A parking lot. And just look at all the cars that pull in. They <gasps> Chick Fil A is open. For real, <laughs> it's hilarious. They're like, "Oh God!" <laughs> and the first thing they say is, "God damn it!" <laughs> right. I need a video of somebody just pulling into the Chick Fil A and sitting at the drive-through, and then just seeing how many cars line up behind. They're them. like, "Yo, I'm the only one in line today, bro." That's <laughs> I've definitely been on a Sunday looking at Gabrielle's. Like, is it Chick Fil A today? She's like, "They're closed," and I was like, "Of course they are." <laughs> <laughs> well, of course they are. That's not disappointing at all yeah and if you ever want to get one over on the mormons knocking on your door and they're like do you want to talk about uh you know the whatever jesus christ be like yes please tell me how to be the god of my own planet yes. and they'll instantly be like well that takes some time <laughs> here's the inside track that's a thing by yeah, the way of course with the and mormons it, yes it, it usually involves money <laughs> almost always involves money Tell well, scientology the, it's literally no different no the funny thing about religion is you you can make fun of them all, but you're all the same. So it's are we true. at pineapples? <laughs> no, are we at pineapples? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, did you want to do pineapples? Oh, oh is I, that what I, you were saying? Look, oh, oh I yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That, I see you looking at the clock. Now I understand. See, I forgot. Um, I forgot what the word was, okay. and I yeah. And that's why he was over here pondering. <laughs> yeah, I think I know which Not, switch. Was, Zach is now a uh, mic controller. Uh, or yeah, do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to? Do we have we already talked about the abortion? Or no, we haven't. So should we wait? So that's how we got. But we have a minute and a half, so I'll it's uh, ultimately I'll, I'll just uh, we can do it. We, you know what, Neek? If we can go over a little bit, then then we'll go over a little bit. Is that all right with you? Yes. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep again. <laughs> so, so always sleeping on that. <laughs> Got so, a futon in there. South Carolina Apparently passed the the South Carolina ultimately the House Legislature passed these this extremely strict abortion bill that basically that you could not have an abortion. At a at a clinic that was government paid clinic, uh, if the if the heartbeat was detected, Will's claiming that over five hundred thousand South Carolinians have been murdered, which which is absolutely an insane <laughs> statistic. Yeah, up that, there like legitimately. Really, name them. What's their social security numbers? Uh, they were not even heartbeats they? yet. Like, yeah. <laughs> my my biggest issue with this is 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 mostly that is that. This statistic that they threw out there was this five hundred thousand. They're going to say five hundred thousand lives a year, which to me is extremely crazy. Because back going, no, no. <laughs> Essentially, that just means that that these lawmakers think that every single person between the age of being able to have a child and not being able to have a child is having an abortion all of the time. All yeah. the time. Yeah, that's like, legit what they think. Man, and half of the people are going to Charlotte to get their abortion. 
Yeah. <laughs> Like Charlotte goes, was the spot at one point in time. Like, well, that's then, all I remember. I look at those people and go, what do you call a miscarriage? Is that a God-delivered fucking abortion? Right. Because you psychopaths. Like, right. And it's completely what it is. And they prayed before it all started. Yeah, that's and sick. That's, that's sick. That's lit- you, they would not let a Muslim do that. Yeah. No, that's true. An invocation for this whole process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's, it's so, it's so, such an ideological thing that not everybody subscribes to. So yeah. I, and, and, and before, and we're not going to put all of the pressure <laughs> on you about it. But we do want to know what you feel about a man trying to tell you what in You already, what you know, can you already can. know what I'm going to say. I know. Shut the hell up. Go ahead, Go ahead, <laughs> Ultimately, I'm a Catholic, and I'm not in favor of abortion, not just for religious reasons, but because I, I, I am emotionally tied to the potential of life. I'm mm-hmm. with you. I couldn't. Ima- I couldn't imagine it in, a, in, in in certain instances. But aside from that, it's none of my business. 100%. I am not. I. I, I Unless think I'm the baby's is, father. Uh, I think is absolutely absurd. Well, okay. That's, so that's, that's an that's, argument that's, too. That's a, that's a very strong point. And I thought about that, knowing that we were going to talk about it. Is it okay for 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 a person to say, as a woman, mm-hmm. if you're the father, do you have a say in going like? Well, I really would like to be a dad. The no. answer is absolutely not. Because if okay. you want to be a dad, you can go pay for a surrogate. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go adopt, you can go be a foster dad or whatever. You know, there's there's definitely options. Like people have to understand that it's not just about the baby. Like it's very taxing on the woman's yes, body. Absolutely. Um, you know, she's at risk of like diabetes. She's at a higher risk of like uh cardiac issues, pulmonary issues, yeah. all types of things. So it's not really just about the baby being born, but it's about like the life the of the woman. mom as, yeah. as well. And she's already an established being yeah. on this earth. Like yeah, we're right. talking about potential life and existing life. Yeah. So it's, and, 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 that's and, completely, absolutely. I, I, I facts. Yeah. Everything she's speaking. Facts. It is, it, it, to me, it is, it is so absurd. This idea that, that you can do what you want with your body and you can do what you want. Well, yeah. you might at one I mean, time somebody, you couldn't. Yeah, you're right, 100%. But, or and, people could work on me without my say-so. Well, women can't get a hysterectomy, right, without at least having 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 had a kid or it being medically necessary. Oh, yeah, if I went to my doctor, like, right now, like, this is the crazy thing. If I go to my doctor right now and I say, I want to get on, like, hormone replacement therapy so I can make sure all of my hormones are correct to be able to conceive, right. they'll mm-hmm. tell me no. I'm not married. I'm too young. They'll yes. like tell wow, me birth really? control, whatever. That's, yeah, it, it even goes deeper than just oh, abortion. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, it's fucking gross. It's it's a hundred. Yeah, it's crazy. But if I go into the same clinic and I'm like, okay, well, I'm not ever gonna have kids. I just want to get a hysterectomy. I want my tubes tied. Whatever. They're gonna tell me no, no. again. Yeah. 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 Wow. So That's like, crazy. the only option for me is to either be married or stay on birth control or like, right. it's crazy. It's because and and I know she won't mind, but I know my sister. She already had two kids, but it was. There was a stipulation that they wouldn't do it at some point because they basically have control over what your yeah. body is going to be able to do. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, and and they're very mad because uh, birth birth uh, rates have declined, right? And and people, sorry, Trent, on the right side of things, mm-hmm. quote unquote, are going like, this is this is fucking terrible mm-hmm. yeah. because all we need is more people, right? right. This planet, yeah. but they're looking at it like they're looking at it like, oh, that's a taxpaying citizen. We need them. Well, until it turns gay, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, until it turns Facts. gay or decides that it's a different gender. Yeah, or, yeah. And then, that's, or if that's it's the point disabled and needs government law. assistance, yeah. or you know, like they, there's, there's just no. It just doesn't seem like there's any consideration to the fact that, yeah. <laughs> I do too. I do smell it. Okay, it's yeah. Yeah, Nick, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, spray paint is something. Ultimately, the, the the consideration over not in this room, bro. Over how die. how you handle your body or your body or my body. And and then, but if you're female, then then there are it, it's just constantly that it just seems like it's constantly being pushed that you have to you still have to obey. Yeah. yeah, it's really coming down to you know they're really trying to turn women back you know into people that are just good for like giving birth or something like mm-hmm. that. You know that's really what Republicans I feel like that's like the message that they're sending. Like they're yeah. not really. Um, telling women that their choice matters. They're not really telling women that, you know, their ideas or their goals in life matter. You know, accidents happen. Like, you know, we're all biologically functioned to have sex. It's going to happen. You know, we can't say, oh, well, don't, don't, you know, have sex, da, da, da. It's accidents are going to happen. It's a fact of life. And I just think it's really terrible that, you know, if a guy doesn't want to be a father, you can just be like, okay, well, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. And then the woman has to go through all of these steps to hold him accountable. The woman has to go and petition the court. The woman's got to, 
I don't know, like hire a family lawyer if she right. even has the money to do that, right. you know. And even then, if the father still doesn't pay, you know, you got to track them down. And, you know, yeah. even then, it, I don't know, it's just really difficult. Let me play the devil's advocate a little bit. Do you feel, you know how we do taxes, right? Mm-hmm. It's usually one parent that gets that tax break. No, it's unless you're married. You're married. Yeah. Um, unless you're married. Yeah, no, you're, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you feel like if two people that aren't married should both get that tax break? So I can actually speak on that. When my youngest sister was like in my care as a minor, my f- stepfather um, claimed her as a dependent, mm. but I was able to claim head of household because she was physically like in my thing. So mm. I got like a huge like whatever too so yeah. i mean there's i feel like there's stipulation you know yeah, like right. there's ways around it you know there's a for way sure. to yeah. for both parents to get you know whatever 100%. or and not only that you know that like the court can also decide that as well like mm. if right. there's a um if there's like a child support or like a um, custody agreement in place like all of that stuff can be stipulated in court okay. and honestly if if this is an actual issue where where we, the potential of, of being concerned about the money is then there's a good possibility you may be working at Walmart and you may be making seven twenty five an hour. I was about to say, yeah, because yeah, yeah. usually the parent that does contribute the most or the child that lives with the parent yeah. is the one that claims yeah. the and child. Then, but then but then you're also only making fifteen grand a year. You're also working at Walmart for forty hours a week. Yeah. You're yeah. having to pay for child care. Fifteen grand is not gonna cover expenses no. at all. No. That's why I feel like both parents And then, that, and then that dependent claim is not going to cover everything you need. No, of course no. not. It's, it's a, it's, I mean, I've spent bucket. like five grand on diapers since my daughter's been born. But an extra two <laughs> grand, like, I mean, an extra two grand during helps. your taxes, that, that helps. You but that's that? but ultimately, you shouldn't have to wait for your taxes to be like a savings account to get dropped. <laughs> right. I mean, that's yeah, mostly absolutely. how we are. My dad that's treated all, it like us. For everybody that taxes came in, supercharger. For yeah, everybody right. that doesn't get bonuses <laughs> yeah. in their job, yeah. like, that is their bonus for the year. Absolutely. But they should just be paid a fair wage 100%. so that we can, yeah. Well, and two, they should, when you fill your taxes out, they should have somebody at the IRS, call, you could call and be like, I'm filling out a W-2. You need to tell me, based on my situation, how this needs to be filled out. You can yeah. just send it and be like, they steer you wrong. You Dude, shouldn't have to pay a turbo tax or a, no, a H&R. No, no. Right. You shouldn't have to pay to file your taxes at all. At all. For one, they shouldn't be over or under. You should never be owed money. You should never have to pay money. H&R right. Block be it making just, a killing it on should people. It should be exact. You ha- if you're going to fucking do this, it's it's on you to make sure you are on point and it needs to be exact. I should never owe and you should never owe me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want... Yeah, that money you're getting back is not a bonus. No. You paid that shit. 100%. Yeah. That's and money yeah. you're owed. That, that was something you overpaid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, when you have a kid, they're like, here's something. But at the same time, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, uh, Gabrielle, I even told her, because I proposed to her before we had a kid, and then COVID happened, and things happened. You have kids. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, mean, our office probably... had, I think our office had nine people have kids. I mean, it's going to be a baby consummated boomer. what would have been the wedding. Yes. Yeah. And so I, even when I proposed to her, I said, if you want to keep your name, if you want to do whatever, you can do that. And then, and then when we got pregnant, I said, um, I'd like for her our daughter to have my last name and she was like yeah taxes come you claim her yeah that is you gave birth to her you did literally yeah. the hard work 100%. i had the blueprints you had the factory yeah however else you want to put it she also had blueprints it's 50 yeah. 50 <laughs> but it sounds like she's more 75 25 yeah I'm yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I am literally willing to sit back and be i've like, seen your kid the good news is, is it's 75 25. <laughs> Her hair is coming in and it's definitely looking up. Okay. It's looking up. She's beautiful. Yes, she is. All right. Pineapples with it. All right. So it. thank you very much for joining us for another All About Nothing podcast. Zach King, Trent Clark. We had Talia on today. Make sure that uh, if uh, if you haven't already subscribed, that you do check out Talia's uh, podcast with Desmond. He was on with us a little while ago. Meet the geek. Uh, let's just sleep on that podcast. Need the geek. Oh. Jared's on it too. Yeah, shout we, out Jared. You know what? We could we could definitely have a sleep on this slash all about nothing podcast. Heck we yeah. have to bring up some extra mics. I got another stand. We could have a co podcast yeah. with everybody. That'd be that so be. cool. And they the have, episode will actually yeah. make it out for everyone to hear. You know what? They, <laughs> they actually have more listeners than we do. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, but they only sometimes get to listen. <laughs> That's why we have so many. Uh, they, they're they're I, anticipating. I love this bias. They, 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 they hit us up and ask us <laughs> when the next it. episode. For sure, for sure. <laughs> He's got at least they're two like, in yo, the can. What our podcast is, they're like, oh, it's going to come out regardless. Every yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to listen to them. Yeah, Bear, stop, so stop spoiling them. Stop spoiling them, Bear. That'd be so available. Make them wait another day. Make them chase you. Special thanks, Neek the Geek, engineer and producer, as well as owner of the and operator of the uh, GOT Sound Studio here in Columbia, South Carolina. To book time in the studio, call 803-243-2302. Also email, you can email them, gotsounds at theallaboutnothing.com. Uh, Two-hour minimum on bookings. You can find details at Facebook. Just search for GOT Sound Studios. Thank you very much, Zach King, Trent Clark, Talia. Thank you for being with us this week. Thank you. Enjoyed it very much. Everyone, please be safe. Wear a mask. And have a week.